not bored. Oh my god! Morning, dear. You guys have any waypoints or solid cuts that you're catching them in, right? Okay. Sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. That's a good first fish for day number two. <laughs> In the boat. <laughs> Look at that. First fish on day number two. It's about a two and a half pounder. What a good fish. Oh, Amistad. I love you. See you later, guy. Oh, unreal. We are fishing a completely different part of the lake right now, but a very similar system from where we started off yesterday. I found the spot. In the afternoon on day number one in Amistad and it was too windy. I mean, this spot I just could tell looked really good, but it wasn't the right conditions. It was super windy. The sun was high and it was just really hot. Oh my God, dude, these are some big fish back here. I made a note that I wanted to come back here today. Even though it didn't fish well yesterday, I just knew that it had major potential and the conditions have flipped this morning. It's cool. It is cloudy. It's just got tons of grass too. That's the most important thing is it's a, it's a nice secluded cut with a ton of grass and rather than throwing the, uh, the bladed jig like I was yesterday, I'm slowing things down and I'm just very tediously working a lunker log over this grass that's just barely hitting the surface. It can be such an amazing way to get some good bites. Big fish love this subtle presentation too. My biggest bass of the year came on this exact technique. Eight five, eight pounds, five ounces. Oh, there's one. Oh, I just got smoked. Got it. My drag is so loose. That's a good one. My drag is so loose. That's a decent fish. My drag is so, is so loose on that hook set. On the little saucy swimmer. Man, he choked it. I would not have caught that fish if he didn't eat it that well. Oh, get out of the grass. There we go. Fish number two. First one on the lunker log. Second one on the 3.8 saucy swimmer. It's just not windy enough for me to like lean towards the chatterbait right now. So I decided to throw something a little bit more subtle. It's a nice fish though. There he goes. Sweet, a little saucy summer fish. I like it. Gotta lock that drag down though. Oh my God, that guy, he wanted it good. There's one. Little guy. Is it a small one? No, it's a large one. Fish number three on the stick bait. Real silver looking fish. They all look different here. I wonder if they're different strains and different genetics. You catch some that look like tigers and the other ones look like just silver bullets like this guy. Interesting. It's a good way to get big fish too. Big fish will always speak. Yeah. On the top water. I figured we take advantage of the fact that it is overcast and calm right now and throw some top water at these largemouth. Imagine most of these fish are post spawn at the moment, so throwing a top water like this makes a ton of sense. There we go. Is that number four? Fish number four. See you later. That was pretty cool. Another one. Not a large one. A little bit smaller, but still a topwater fish is a topwater fish. Number five. There you go. Get around this. Get around this. Get around this. Get around this. Get 
kind of. Not really. That is hilarious. <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> I threw over the tree and he, he ate it right behind the tree. What a stinker. What a stinker. Fish. And there's a bass trying to eat the bait out of the can. Look, 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 that's a big bass. What just happened? Did you get any of that? I just threw the bladed jig out there, got thumped. I thought it was a big bass. And somehow I caught a catfish. This is species number two, not really the target species. And there was like a freaking four pound bass trying to get the chatterbait out of the fish's mouth. All right, see you, bud. The craziest thing I've ever seen. Craziest. Don't even have words for that. That was a good bass, too. <laughs> what the hell? Why do I do that? There we go. That works. Just like switch it up. It's a pretty good fish, too. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Biggest one of the day. Don't get in the grass, please. Yes, sir. In the boat. Nice. Oh, should have switched up a little bit. Oh, she just came off, too. How much is that? Well, Amistad has been just as graceful this morning. I just haven't really been capitalizing all the bites. Started off by fishing that little pocket. Got a few nice bites there with the lunker log. Then went out to the main creek and had a ton of bites in the spook. Caught a few, missed a lot. Then went back in this like kind of little back backwater spot. Through the top water, nothing. Then switched to the old reliable bladed jig and bonked this guy. What you doing eating the chatterbait, bud? <laughs> oh, he's Oh, he's got some leeches on his. Mouth. That's a cool fish. Good, nice, good, nice Amistad bass. See ya. Get it, Noodle. Get it. Get it. There we go. Big one. Big one. Big one. Not that big. Just really ate it hard. Oh my god. I was like certain that was like a big fish. Number six on the shadow bait on the point. Cherry bite started to pick up. I like it. seeing so many fish suspended though it's gonna be hard not to give it a whirl so many fish moving up and down like 10 feet oh, what am i doing i thought i was gonna do this anymore i'm gonna cut one gonna be a bunch of this. What's that? Is it? Are we counting those? That feels a little bit better. Really? Number nine. Number eight and a half. Oh. Okay. A little bit better. That's a little bit better. Number ten. There's a bass right there. Is that a bass? Yep. That was unreal. That was unreal, dude. Good one, too. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. I've never done that before. It's like the biggest one of the day. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that was truly insane. He was looking at the bank. I threw the scout in there, and he just came up and clobbered it. <laughs> that's like a close to a four pounder. That's a way bigger fish than I thought. Look at that thing. <laughs> Did you get a glimpse of that? That was so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> I'm just grab behind the head. <laughs> oh my gosh. This scout 
seems to catch fish wherever I go. That was a very unique example. I saw what I thought was either grass or a largemouth, like right on the bank. I'm like, that might be a fish. Threw the jerkbait there, like right on top of its head. Came up and clobbered. That's probably the biggest fish of the day. This little scout has caught me fish everywhere I go. One of my biggest fish this season came on this exact color, this exact bait. We're definitely diversifying today. Chatterbaits, uh, frogs, spooks, bunker logs, and then now the scout. They're a little bit, they're just kind of everywhere in this creek, whether it be on a rock or, um, you know, in the grass. <laughs> this fish, that was a weak, like coolest catch of the whole trip right there. Solid, probably two and a half, three pounder. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Oh, he's still on. Oh no, it was not a good one. Oh, look, it's a smallmouth. No way. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it was not a good one. Sorry, boys. <laughs> but what's cool about it is it's on a uh, nine inch slim shake. He caught a white bass, a catfish, and a largemouth. And you can't forget about the smallies here in Amistad. I just didn't think I was gonna catch it on a big worm like that. Look at that. Who was this guy on? <laughs> See you later, buddy. Dude, the bite was ferocious. I was like, okay, that's a good one. Wasn't a good one. <laughs> Not not even close to being a good one. That's funny though. There's one. Still have it? Yeah, he still has it. Don't know how big it is. He still has it though. Feels okay. Yeah, take that. Fish is a fish in this boat. Ah, using the graph now, fishing some deep stuff. 29 feet of water, okay. That's pretty deep in comparison to uh, the, the stick bait, the lunker log fish that I caught this morning that was in a foot of water. Not exactly giant, but it is an Amistad bass, and I do like switching things up. I, I really want to focus on fishing differently today, and that's exactly what we're doing, fishing big slim shakes, nine inch, on some uh, deep bluff walls. I imagine, I mean, this is a way you can catch big fish. I imagine we'll stall upon um, something decent here in a little bit, but they're definitely chewing this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. I love this. I love this grass. Another one. Another one. Good one. <laughs> ah, let's go. Might have found a few fish over here. All right. Found the big worm. Any followers? Nope. But there's more down there though. Look at where we're at. We we started this Amistad expedition in the back of a creek throwing chatterbaits. And now we've ended up on the main lake in 11 feet of water throwing the big slim shaky. Nothing big yet, but it's just it's nice to get a bite when the conditions have turned. This morning it was pretty gloomy, which is good. Kind of calm and uh, a bit chilly. But now the sweatshirt's off, it's warm, and the fish have pushed off into the the deep grass. So we're gonna keep rolling with this. this. is my second bite in a row. I think there's gonna be some more fish up ahead. Well, there we go. Felt that. A little. It's still a bite. A bite is a bite.
my god, real nice one. Really nice one. Really nice one. That's an Amistad brute, baby. That's an Amistad brute. She's right there. In the net. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, buddy. <laughs> How about that fish? Dude, that's How about that freaking fish? end of day. Yes, Dude. sir. Yeah, take that out of the way. Solid. Oh, Solid. Yeah. Bro. Yes. <laughs> All that work paid off. Let's go. Dude, look at that fish. Choked the chatterbait. Old reliable spot. Wow. <laughs> that is the Amistad bass we drove six hours for. Look at that thing. Probably close to six pounds. A you today was not like yesterday it's definitely been way more challenging we've had to work for this fish but it was all worth it i think it's probably right around 6 30 right now nearing sunset and this fish came in for the closer what a beautiful amistad bass oh my god just healthy i really was starting to lose faith there at the end of the day but this guy just revived all of my confidence wow oh my god dude i did not think we'd get that bite today dude we fished hard like real hard. This is it, this is the spot where the journey began. This spot right here is on the way back to camp and I saw the map and I was just about to blow past it, put the boat on the trail I'm like, look, don't be an idiot. <laughs> there could be some fish here. I fished for like an hour in here, not much. And then I threw right up on like some windy reeds just like I were catching yesterday morning. And she choked it. We have maybe 30, 45 minutes left to do it. So I'm gonna try to make the most of this. If you don't catch anything after that though, that is the clothes that we needed. Woo, let's go. Ah! There we go. No! I felt big. I felt pretty big. There we go. Another one. A little PM bite here. I like this. Two bites in a row. Good one. Good one. Yeah, dude, this is it. Nice little flurry here. That's, that's all good. I'll flip it. Yes, let's go! Amistad, baby. Little PM sesh. Oh, sun is setting. The fish are biting. I'm pumped right now. Look at that. That is a stud. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Man, it's like boat should be on the trailer right now, but these fish are just not like they're, I don't know. There's a bit of a window. I'm loving it. Last slide on Amistad. I thought the six pounder was going to be our final fish. The closing finale bass. And this guy came out to play. I, okay, so this sounds weird and maybe called bullshit this but i'm pretty sure we've caught this fish yesterday look at that hook mark at the top that's not mine from today i hooked him right here when i boat flipped him uh i guess we can watch the footage and, and tell whether or not the same fish he's got this kind of weird loose spine fork in the uh what is that the dorsal mm. and yeah it's about the same size as the one i caught yesterday good fish hell yeah thank you sir for playing <laughs> oh all right let's keep going never leave biting fish never leave biting fish I'm a stud. Give it to me. Let's go. Just switched up the color. Throwing a what? Chartreuse. White and short. Another one. Another one. Another one, too. Another one, too. Ah, let's go. Yes. Yes. Yes, dude. This is so, so sick. In you come. <laughs> Dude, I'm just, oh, oh. Dude, I literally just switched up the color. I don't know, this water got a little dirtier. They're dropping the water like crazy. Everything that we were catching fish on yesterday is literally out of the water. They're pulling water for uh, agriculture on the Mexico side because, you know, the border is just like a boop, hop, skip, and a jump. So we're losing a lot of the, uh, the water, the productive water that we're catching bass in, but I think these fish have just pushed off a bit. I think also too the sunset is getting this fish to feed so normally at this point in time the boat's in the trailer and we'd be out of here but i mean you never leave biting fish that's so sick it's about a two pounder i'll see you oh let's go let's go let's go Woo!
There we go. There we go. There we go. It's a dust bite. This is crazy. This is crazy. They just all turned on. I was marking all these fish on the way in here. I didn't understand why they weren't eating. Timing. Timing is everything. That sunset and these fish are getting comfortable now. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's get some more. Un freaking real. Unreal. I literally fished the sh out of this whole spot. Sun drops down. I've never just seen it click on like this before. That's incredible. That's a good one. That's a good one. Not really. He just hammered it. Oh, they're active. Okay. This is mental. This is insane. White chatterbait doing it to him. Holy guac. Like, we've really done it all here in Amistad. And man, I'm just so glad that she was gracious enough to allow us to catch one of her boat emits. <laughs>